Hi, I'm Connor Anderson, Vice President of Riverfront Technology Incorporated and Contributing Editor to CDW BizTech Magazine. Welcome to another episode of Don't Fear the Router, where technology professionals take the fear out of technology for everyone. This week, CDW has given us a very nice piece of kit, the D-Link DIR655 Extreme N Gigabit Router. This wireless-capable router and firewall is a nice, sweet one, featuring 1,000 bit per second local network connectivity, three-band wireless, and a pretty beefy firewall and security feature set. Today, we're going to show you how to perform a proper initial configuration of the D-Link that will allow you to put it in production in a home or small business environment and have that environment be secure. Now, there are four basic things to do when you set up any router firewall uh, that has wireless in it. The four steps are basically to make sure that you've connected everything correctly and that you have a working internet connection. Now you can see here that we have CDW's web page up on our browser. So we have got an internet connection. The second thing is to uh, change the administrative password on the router so nobody on the inside or the outside of the network can mess with your settings. Then we want to configure our wireless security. And finally, we want to set up and make sure that security settings on the firewall are going. The first thing we need to do is to connect to the web-based administrative console on the router. So this is on a Mac. On a Windows PC, you would do something similar to this by going to your network preferences. Uh, probably actually a command line and typing IP config. This will get you the same thing on the Mac. Here we see my IP address of my computer, which has actually been given to me by the router. And then we see the router's IP address. And we'll talk a little bit about those in just a second for beginners. But in the meantime, what you need to know is this number is what we type up here in the browser window. 192.168.0.1 this gets us to the login screen. Now at this point most new people will be scrambling for their documentation or installing their CD to go what password do I use? I'm going to tell you a secret right now almost all D-Link devices come from the factory with a blank password which gets us to step two well it will get us to step two. Right now we're going to look at our status screen. We've already established that we're connected to the internet but here's a good place for general troubleshooting. It's the first screen you'll see on the router. Um, our cable status on the wide area network, this is the outside side of our router, connects us to the internet. Our cable status shows connected. That shows that we've got a good physical connection between the router and our cable or DSL modem. And then we've got our network status. That means we've got a logical internet connection to our internet service provider's modem. Here we can see the IP addresses that have been handed out to us. Um, one thing to note here, I'm behind a firewall. So you're actually seeing similar IP addresses both in the WAN and the LAN sides here. And the thing to note is that these 192.168 addresses are what they call private IP addresses. IP addresses, these four dotted numerals, are like an actual street address. And you can read them from left to right. This is your country, your city, your street, and your house number. And that 192.168, this is a whole city and... Uh, there's rather a country and state that has been set aside by the uh, IP gods for private networks. A private network works a lot like your telephone system at work where you could pick up and your phone and dial say extension 201 and get your colleague down the hall but you could not go home pick up your phone and dial 201 and get your colleague down the hall because you have a phone network and more specifically a phone system at your office that takes care of translating those private numbers for you. And that is essentially what the function of a firewall is. It gives you private addresses that you can hide behind from the rest of the internet. So in your normal operation you would see completely different numbers from this and if you start seeing 192's in the WAN side uh, things might not be working for you. The LAN or local area network is our inside address and these 192's are again are our private addresses and this is the private address of the router. So we've got a good functioning router here. The next thing we want to do is go to the tools and set our router's admin password because as you've seen it's pretty easy to figure out what the router's IP address is and anybody 
who's inquisitive could go on your network and try and log into the router and get into its configuration. And we're going to save our settings. The D-Link is going to make us reboot the router. So we're going to take a little break right now while we do this reboot and we'll come back for part two where we will finish configuring the router.